Hello everyone and welcome to Josie's Jungle Room. I'm here today starting off with my sweet, sweet baby. Her name is Amora and yesterday, I can't remember what I called her, I'm so sorry. Amora is a name that um, I came up with because if you guys didn't know, I won her from Mel Amori's nursery in a reborn giveaway. So it was super exciting and I named her Amora after her fairy godmother who is Mel Amore. So um, I messed up on her name yesterday and I'm so sorry baby because mm, I really love this baby you guys. She is just the sweetest sweetest thing and she's sleeping she's like oh it's okay mommy I don't really care her f signature style is hearts so she's wearing this beautiful heart top which is a pale pink with beautiful silver um, little accented hearts all over it and her signature bow that I bought for her specifically when I was nesting because I knew she was coming so she could have a beautiful signature heart bow and then she's wearing these adorable little pants they also came with her that have a cute little pink um, uh, horse like detailed in pink on her little jean pants this is a little jean outfit that she came in and she's just relaxing with me today and she forgives me for saying her name wrong hopefully I never do that again her name is Amora and she is my sweet sweet girl and we're doing toddler Tuesday today now her I'm not a hundred percent sure you know you guys when you say toddler so I'm kind of new to this community and I know in real life a baby's a toddler when they start walking, right? So or toddling around. And that can be varying ages from 9 months to like 3 years old uh, or so, maybe even 4. They're still considered a toddler, I'm not sure. And her, I'm not 100% sure if I would say she's a toddler. She's still a baby she's she's a big long you know she's she's tall but she's still a baby so I don't know if I would really consider her a toddler she's still my snuggly little sweet girl Amora she's the Chrissy sculpt from bountiful babies and I just love this sweet girl but I'm thinking I'm thinking in my opinion she's still a baby so she's probably like six to nine months old and um, she's not really toddling yet. So at least for the purpose of this, of this video today, she's a baby. So she wants to just sleep, you guys. She's tired. So I'm just going to set her over right here so she can just relax and sleep and be beautiful. Uh-oh, Granny's calling me. What is it, Granny? What is it, Granny? Hold on, you guys. I got to check it out. In case you guys didn't know, this is my Granny Franny. She called me for an emergency because she said Bella and Gita were trying to escape. What do you mean they were trying to escape? She said they were trying to escape. So we thought that Gita, who's my elf baby, was going to be really, really good and, and be a good little girl. She just came to live with us not too long ago, just included in the nursery. But I guess her and Bella have been up to schemes, have they? Oh my gosh, Granny Freddy said they have. Oh man, what have they been doing? Let's go see you guys. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, here they are, you guys. Granny Franny just told me that they were trying to escape to go ice skating. Are you serious, you guys? They were trying to escape to go ice skating. It is July, Bella. You guys can't go ice skating. Oh, she said her little sister was really excited because she got this new outfit. And as you can see, I don't know if you noticed, she has glasses. I took her to the eye doctor because she was having a little bit of a problem with her vision. And so I was like, okay, let me just take the time out. You know how when you get a new baby um, in the nursery, you have to get them checked out by the doctor just to make sure they're up to date on their shots and that they have everything that they need. And they checked her eyes and said that she needed glasses. I think she looks really cute in her new glasses, though, you guys. This is my sweet Gita. She is my elf baby. 
And we just um, found out the other day that this little ice skating outfit was going to fit her. It's a really cute little, it's actually a My Life um, ice skating outfit for My Life dolls that I had. And it comes with these big old ice skates. Those look really big on your feet, mama. You think those are gonna fit? And she's actually a toddler. Even though she's really small, she is not wearing a diaper because she knows how to go on the potty like a big girl, don't you? She really does, she's a big girl. And boy, that ring light is really glaring on her big old glasses. But doesn't she look cute in her new glasses and she feels so happy that she can see? But I can't believe you were trying to go sneak off with your sister. And Bella, what were you thinking? She just, Bella just had a swimsuit on the other day. And now today she's trying to go ice skating. There's no ice out there, Bella. It's too hot for that. It's July. Bella says she didn't know. She just wanted to make her new sister happy and feel comfortable. And she's all excited about her ice skating outfit. Well, you can wear the ice skating outfit, Gita. But that doesn't mean that we're going to go ice skating today. But doesn't this outfit look so cute on her? It's um, got kind of like an iridescent um, light blue flow with some cute little sequins and little sparkles of glitter. And then this is velvety with snowflakes and a sweet little um, touch of glisten on the snowflakes as well and more like a teal color blue and these skates these are too big for you mama if you try to skate with these on you're gonna fall she said she doesn't care she said she's an elf and she has magical powers and she can make the skates work okay well can you make ice form too in the middle of July she said you guys have heard of Christmas in July right so she's like, you know, why can't we have ice skate in July too? Whatever, you're silly, mama. You're silly. But I'm not talking about all of her today for Toddler Tuesday, even though, again, she is a toddler, even though she's miniature sized. But I just love my new sweet little elf girl, Gita. But you're going to sit to the side because we have to talk to Bella here. What is going on, Bella? And what are you wearing? What are you wearing, Bella? That's not yours. She said she talked to Amora, and Amora said she could wear it. And I know how I say my babies can always share clothes, and they do share clothes. But Bella, this was a special outfit that Amora came home with that was like her signature look. Bella said she was jealous of that signature look, and she wanted to sport it for today. And Amora said it was okay. Is it okay with you, Amora? Yes, Mama. Amora is totally fine with it, and she's so beautiful and gorgeous, she doesn't mind. All right. Well, thank you, Amora. You're so kind. But, Bella, you should have asked Mommy. So she's wearing, she was jealous of this outfit because it says Queen of the Crib. And Bella says she's the Queen of the Crib, and you guys should all know it. What? You said that? You are so bad, Bella. Bella is being so naughty. Like I said, she was trying to sneak out and go ice skating when there's no ice outside. She's taking her sister's clothes without asking mommy because normally I'm the one who makes the decision on what they're going to wear. I mean, I ask. You know what I mean? She's also wearing her signature headband. You didn't put the booties on, did you? You'd stretch them out. Your feet are too big. Oh, thank goodness she didn't put those beautiful booties on because those, booties, those booties would really get ruined on these big old feet. <laughs> Bella, oh, I didn't mean to upset you about that. Mm, you know your feet are beautiful, girl. Well, we're going to talk about Bella for Toddler Tuesday because Toddler Tuesday today, well, and every day, is put on by two sisters. We have Sam and Renee. Renee at Ren Renee's Reborns and Sam at um, Reborn Love Babies. And today, Sam picked the theme. And the theme was, tell us about your toddler. So I'm going to tell you all about Bella today. Even though you were so naughty, I already had the plan to talk about you. So you still get to shine your light all over the YouTube world. Shine it, girl. Shine. Oh, boy. Also, um, I took her to the meetup, and there was one um, lady there who was not sure about having a monkey baby at the meetup. But she is like, well, I'll go into that because it says, 
What is your toddler's name? Well, you guys all know it's Bella. Her name is Annabelle because she's an Annabelle Hugs monkey from Ashton Drake Galleries. And so her full name is Annabelle, but she doesn't really like to go by Annabelle at all. She only likes Bella. So Bella it is. Right, baby? Mm. Um, it says, how long have you had her? Well, she was my first reborn type baby. You know, the first one that I decided to go ahead and get. Oh, I'm sorry, Granny Franny. Granny Franny just fell right over. Let me put you over here. She's tired. She wants to take a nap. She said, you know what? You're home today. I get to take a nap because normally she's so busy in the nursery and all the other babies are sleeping right now. So we got a really great opportunity for Granny Franny to take a nap. So get a little shut eye. Thank you for all your help, Granny. Um, but Bella was the first reborn type doll that I got. I have told this story before, but I have a lot of new viewers, so maybe you guys um, don't know. When I first um, wanted a baby, I wanted a baby monkey. And I saw this baby monkey, it was actually a Coco, because my husband buys me like gifts from the Bradford Exchange, stuff like that for Christmas or my birthday, you know, he'll find really pretty things there. And we got a flyer in the mail, because once you order from them, you know, then they start sending you magazines and stuff. And I saw a monkey doll in the um, paper, and it was for like a hundred and something dollars. And the baby's name was Coco. And I showed it to my husband, and this was when we were first together, so like 10 years ago. I showed it to him and I said, um, I really want this baby. I would really, really love to have this baby. And he said, no, baby. That was the first time he ever told me no. So I kept the little picture of the monkey doll advertisement. You know how they have those little advertisements that come out. And um, I kept it folded up. And every once in a while, maybe like every year or so, I would bring it out and say, I still want this monkey doll. And he would say, no, baby. Well, this last year, I don't know if it's because of everything that we've been going through or there's been just so much happening in our lives. I mean, so much happening in our lives. And all the grandkids moved away and my daughter moved away. I do still have one daughter here in the Twin Cities, thank goodness, and she does come visit me regularly, so I'm very thankful for that, but like all the kids moved away and stuff, and I told him again, probably like around Christmas, well actually I got a baby Yoda. He gave me a baby Yoda um, for Christmas, and I loved that baby Yoda, and I still do. I have legs for it now and everything, and I dress him as well, and you guys have probably seen him in other videos, but I was like, Gosh, you know, I've always had stuffed animals too. I'm sorry I go everywhere with my talking. I've always had stuffed animals and he always buys me stuffed animals and stuff, but I really wanted a more lifelike something. And so I showed him the monkey baby again after Christmas, after falling so in love with Yoda. And I was like, I want to put clothes on Yoda and I want to, you know, buy accessories for my baby Yoda, Grogu, which I call Billy the Kid. That's his name. And, um, he was like, okay, baby, if you really, really want it, go ahead. Go ahead and order it. And I I know he always says that I make him sound super controlling in my videos, but it's not that he controls me, but I like to have him in agreement with me on things. I mean, we're married. I like him to be okay with things that I do and be into it too, you know, because if he's not, it's not any fun. It's not, it wouldn't be any fun if I had my sweet Bella and he was like, "Ugh, get that ugly thing away from me, you know, it just wouldn't be any fun for me. So I wanted him to be accepting of it. And finally, after 10 years, he was, and he said, go ahead and get it. And then she arrived. So she came in January of 2022 and ever since then, it has been a wrap, baby. I have been all about it. And then I started getting um, on YouTube, and then I started seeing baby dolls, and then I started seeing Reborns, because I had never heard Reborn before. And um, so I'm, I've just been sold on it since. I have all kinds of different dolls from all kinds of places, but she was my first. When I saw her, I was like, oh my gosh, she looks so real. And she's called Annabelle Hugs, so her arms can go around you, she can hug you. She's honestly not super cuddly and soft, but she's fun to carry around. And she's very light, and I love, love, love my sweet Bella. She is my sweet, sweet. I love, love, love this girl. 
so, so much. And I love all my babies, you know, but she was my first. Um, I already said what sculpt she is. She is the um, Annabelle Hugs from Ashton Drake Galleries. What made you pick her? Um, obviously, her looks. <laughs> oh, I just picked her because I wanted a monkey doll. I always have loved monkeys and stuffed animals, so it's not really that big of a stretch from a stuffed animal to a realistic monkey doll, you know. I had monkey stuffed animals when I was a little girl. I had a monkey stuffed animal, or was it actually a gorilla stuffed animal that I loved so, so much. Um, I just thought, you know, it's similar to a baby, but not actually a baby because it's a monkey, you know. And um, But you can still give it a bottle. You can still dress them. You can still do all this stuff without it actually being a baby. Because one of my daughters said it would be weird if I had baby dolls that were actual babies. She thought the monkey baby was okay, but baby dolls would be kind of weird. But she's over it now. She's over it now, and she gets how much I love my dolls. Um, so that was the fourth question. Number five, how many toddlers are in your collection? Oh, you know, I forgot to even go around and look. And again, I, I mean, it's it depends on what you're saying is a toddler, and then what you're saying is a doll. Because, like, I have, you know, my Next Generation and my um, my Disney um, Animator Series dolls. Those are toddlers or school age. I don't know. And then I have my Lissy Bats dolls. I have three of those. I have my Bianca. She's a porcelain doll. You know, so I don't even know how many toddler dolls I have. So we're just going to bypass that question. I have a lot, though. I have a lot of different kinds of dolls. Actual reborn dolls, I mean, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. Let's just skip that one. <laughs> I have a lot of dolls, and I love all my dolls, whatever the age. They're all amazing and beautiful, right? Like my Miss Bella. Um, let's see. Do you role play with your toddlers? Well, obviously. Now, as far as the voices, I don't really do voices that much. If I do, I just do a, yes, mama. You know, that's about it. I don't really like to. Um, I like to communicate with my babies. We have like a little extra reborn magic going on here at Josie's Jungle Room. I like to communicate with them. It's all in the mind, baby. It's all in the mind. They tell me what they feel. They tell me what they want. They tell me the answers to the questions but it's not in an audible voice. When I do the yes mama, no mama, I'm only doing that for you guys on video. Normally when I'm playing with them myself, they just tell me and then I do talk verbally to them, but when they tell me something back, it's all in the mind, okay? Does that make sense, you guys? Um, I like to role play and I like to just tell you guys, like, she said this, she said that. You know, I don't like doing the voices that doesn't I do like to do accents okay I do a British accent that I love to do I do a southern accent but I have a lot of friends that are um, now from the UK as well as people from the south and I used to live in Texas so I have a lot of actual friends that live there too um, but I don't want to offend anybody with my accents, but I love to do accents. Like, we did a British accent all the time with my kids because I love the way the British accent sounds. I think it sounds so beautiful. And um, so we would go around pretending we were British. And my son, he likes to do an Australian accent. I'm not as good with the Australian one, but we just like to do play accents. But as far as making baby voices... Did I say my husband said I needed to work on my baby voice? Work on my baby voices. I'm like, I don't want to do a baby voice. I only do, yes, mama, no, mama. You know, that's about as far as it's going to go <laughs> with the baby voices. But I totally role play all the time, all the time. I'm always, like, talking to my babies and holding them and cuddling them and, like, you know, I love that. I love that. Um, what is your toddler's favorite color? That's really hard. Um, she loves all the colors, but I told you guys before that my Bella is my mini me. And my favorite color is like pink and orange. So really kind of that corally, pinkish, orangish color or pink or orange. 
I can't really pick between the two of those. Pink wins out a tiny bit more, and Bella thinks very much like me. So she's going to say the same exact thing, right, Bella? <laughs> she said yes. She said yes. You guys didn't hear it, but she said it. Um, and then it says, what are some themes you would like to do in the future? Okay. Um, gosh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I could think of some themes... I mean, as far as dressing, you know, I like, um, we did woodland animals not that long ago, but I wasn't able to participate, I don't think, but I wanted to, like, foxes, I love frogs, or like, um, more reptilian animals would be kind of fun, you know, because, um, I love frogs, and I have a lot of frog stuff, and I think everybody has frog stuff, or ducks. I love ducks, and I have duck stuff, or monkeys, hello, monkeys, um, I love monkey stuff, I, I love animal stuff, really, a lot of different animal stuff is a lot of fun, um, I love flowers, obviously, um, I love just having color themes is fun, you know, like, um, different people have different colors on different days and stuff and that's always fun because you can do many different things with a color and different shades um also different things like um the friendship theme that was really cool so different things like that like um learning about your manners would be a good one or uh, learning about your ABCs, like different things that you could do with them for a theme, thinking about teaching your toddler the ABCs, um, learning about going to the doctor, like, you know, just a couple different things like that. I don't know. I could go on and on with that, but I always love the themes. Whatever the theme is, I try to participate if I can and I have time, um, but I think it's really enjoyable and a lot of fun. And those would be some fun ideas. Like, when are you going to get your next shots, Bella? Bella says she's not going to get her shots. Oh, yes, you are. You are going to go get your shots. Granny, Granny, wake up. What is it? Oh, Bella says she's not going to go get her shots. Are you going to help me when I have to take her to the doctor? Granny Franny says, of course she will help me. She helps me with everything, and I love her so, so very much. When she came to live with us, I mean, my life just got a hundred times easier. A hundred, a thousand, a million, a gazillion times easier, and I'm so thankful to Granny Franny. I'm sorry I woke you up for that. I'll, I'll let you go back to sleep, Granny. Sorry about that. Um, let me see. What's the next question? Do you take your toddler out in public? Oh, yes, absolutely. I love this baby. The first place I really took her was like maybe three, maybe a week after I got her. I can't remember exactly, but, um, I brought her to work one day at my previous location. Oh my gosh. It was so much fun. Everybody was coming over to see her and to meet her and to touch her and it was a blast. I mean, I love taking her out. We took her out to the park um, maybe a month ago. Um, I did do a somewhat of a video on it. My daughter wasn't the happiest that I brought her because um, we met up with my daughter and her partner to go to um, the Minnesota Arboretum. And um, I had her and her sister, Shy Shy, in the stroller. And my daughter was like, why? Why do you have her? So that's kind of going into the next question. But yes, I absolutely take her out. I will take her out again. I, I love taking her out. She's super light. Like I said, super light, super easy to carry around and stuff. And I love bringing her out. I love it. Um, how does your family feel about your toddler? So that's the last question. And going into talking about my daughter, she likes them. I mean, you know, when she comes over, because she, usually she comes to my house on occasion. I go to their place, but usually she comes to my house and she likes them okay. You know, she'll think they're cute or comment on their outfit or like she helped me dress a couple of my new dolls last week when she came over. And, um, you know, she likes looking at the little stuff or... 
e even if she doesn't like it, she pretends like she likes it for me because besides you guys, and I do have a couple coworkers that I talk to, not a lot of people want to talk to me about my dolls. <laughs> well, I don't really talk to that many people outside of work, to be honest. It's just me and my husband here, and he will talk to me. He will talk to me, and he will listen to me and stuff, but... You know, he's not super into it. You know, he's just doing it to be nice, which I greatly appreciate. And Bella does too. Bella appreciates it too. But, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, uh, when I took them out, she was like, there's no reason for that. I mean, I did take her and, um, be, um, who did I take? You and... I, oh, you and Benita, we took them out to Burger King one day, um, and she was okay with that, but we stayed in the car. Um, but she likes them okay. You know, she likes them okay. She thinks I've gone a little overboard with it, and um, when she comes over, I always want to talk about my dolls or show new stuff about my dolls, and, you know, it's not always about my dolls, even though I want it to be hashtag dolly time all the time. It isn't always dolly time, and she wants to talk about other things, of course, you know, and um, so I have to come back down to earth and talk about other things with her, but um, my other daughter, you know, she, they just, I think they talk about me, and they laugh and stuff, but they know I'm just having fun, and they're glad that I'm happy and that I'm enjoying my life. Um, my other family, I have no idea. I don't even really know if they know the extent of what I'm doing. I know my husband's sister, so my sister-in-law, she um, does um, follow me at least on my Facebook page and my Instagram, and she likes my pictures, and she likes dolls too. I mean, she's not like as nuts as I am about them, but she has some really pretty dolls, and I think she likes looking at the dolls and stuff, and I told her when we come and visit Texas that Bella's going to come, and she seemed like she was happy and excited to meet Bella, so she gets to meet her auntie, um, and so she is supportive of me and really nice about it. Um, I don't know if the rest of his family knows, but I'm guessing they might. I don't know. Nobody's talked to me about it on my husband's side of the family. And on my side of the family, I have three brothers, and they don't really pay attention to what I'm doing, to be honest, unless we're, like, doing something together or whatever. So I have no idea if they even are aware that I have all these dolls or that I'm as into the dolls as I am, but... I can't imagine that it would be a shocker to them because when I was little, I was all about the dolls, the Barbies, the baby dolls, the Cabbage Patch dolls. I mean, I always had dolls and always had stuffed animals. And actually, my ex-sister-in-law, so my one of my brothers, his ex-wife, when I turned 18, I asked her to buy me a stuffed animal for my birthday. And because it was a nice, it was a really nice cheetah, and I named him Stanley. I actually loved that um, cheetah, and I slept with that cheetah every night for years, and it was uh, um, about this big. What happened to that cheetah, you say? Well, that's a whole nother story, but um, <laughs> I'm not going to tell that right now, but I loved him, and his name was Stanley, and so, I mean, they always knew. I mean, even as an adult, I was 18, that's what I wanted for my birthday, was this really pretty cheetah stuffed animal. Um, so they, they wouldn't be shocked or anything by any of this. And they know my personality. They know how I am. So I'm sure they would be fine with it. My aunt, my closest aunt to me that I talk to regularly, I told her um, some about um, that I'm really getting more into dolls again. And she was like, well, don't collect too much because she is a collector too. That's probably where I get it from in the family. She loves to collect things. She loves to thrift. She loves to shop for bargains. And um, she is uh, telling me, you know, watch out. Don't get too much. Well, it's too late for that, auntie. She doesn't watch YouTube though, so she, she would have no idea about this channel and all that stuff. But... Um, you know, it's too late. I've already got too much stuff. <laughs> but anyways, that's my, oh, sorry, baby. That is my Toddler Tuesday. Oh, oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I do have one other special somebody that I wanted you guys to meet. Hold on just a second. Look who I have here with me. Yes, I got another new 
baby. Can you guys believe it? I got one more new baby. I'll explain really quick, but I'm going to tell you who she is first. I have named her Victoria. She is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It's the O Baby, sculpted by Ping Lao and Paradise Galleries. She is definitely a toddler. She is a big girl. Look at my big girl. Look at my big girl. She has such a beautiful, gorgeous face. And um, I adopted her from the same parent that I got my other new baby that I just introduced yesterday, which is my sweet Noella. So this is Victoria. It was another baby that she um, wanted to rehome and I could not resist her. I absolutely, absolutely fell in love with her. I mean, I fell in love with her when I first saw her and I can't remember who had her the first time I saw her. It was on somebody's channel and I was like, oh my gosh, that baby is gorgeous so beautiful I mean look at those eyes and look at that beautiful smile on her face she is just so precious such a precious sweet baby girl and um, when the opportunity came up to adopt her as well I could not resist her and I actually did a trade for her and I've never done a trade before and I never thought that I would consider rehoming any of my babies. But when I brought her, so I brought Bella to the meetup. Um, one of the people really loved the monkey. And they were like, I think I want a monkey doll. And it happened to be this one's parent. So I was like, gosh, you know, they really, really wanted a monkey doll. And I was like, you know, I love my monkey doll so much. There's no way I could rehome Bella. There's no way I could rehome Umi. There's no way I could rehome Willie. But I could consider my Clem Clem Beanie. And I know I loved my Clem Clem Beanie, but I don't know. I, I had considered her anyway just because, I don't know. I guess I didn't really lose my bond with her. I just never really had a super strong bond with her. I mean, I loved her and I cared about her and I loved dressing her and posing her. I thought she was really cute and pretty, but I never really felt really strong about her. She was the only one of my monkey dolls that I felt that way with. And when um, this one's parents said that they really wanted a monkey doll, I was like, would you want Clem Clem Beanie, which is my Clementine needs a cuddle. And they were like, yeah. Um, and I was like, okay, we'll do an even trade. Because again, like I said, my husband said I can't get any more new babies. So that's how that happened. And it was really fun and exciting. And I totally get it. Why, why not trade your baby? You know, you want a different baby. Someone else who loves babies wants a different baby. You guys can both be happy and get a new baby. Absolutely. I totally get it, you know. And I got this beautiful girl, Victoria, and I love her. There's a couple special things about her. So one, her thing is rainbows. Um, she doesn't have a favorite color specifically because she loves all the colors. Her thing is rainbows for two reasons. She loves the Wizard of Oz, and this little cute little onesie says there's no place like home from the wizard oh no somewhere over the rainbow sorry somewhere over the rainbow and that is from the wizard of oz and she loves the wizard of oz she can't remember if she saw it with her previous parents or if she just heard about it but we're definitely going to watch it together because i love that movie and she loves the movie too so we were just like bonded immediately you know um i don't have a lot of um, Wizard of Oz clothes, but I'm going to be looking for some more since that is her favorite, favorite thing. Besides the rainbows, so she's got this beautiful rainbow blanket and it is Pride Month. So she's also representing for Pride Month because June is Pride Month and Pride was actually last weekend, but that was the day that I brought this sweet Victoria home. So it works out. She loves rainbows and pride I mean everybody should be proud of who they are and be the best person that they could be and love everyone that's what's important in this world is love love and respect for everyone and everyone um, 
should be loved and respected. So that's what it's all about. And that's what Miss Victoria is all about. She's also wearing this cute little tutu flounce skirt with these gold hearts all over it. And I have put these little barrettes all in her hair. And I'm wondering if any of you guys have this doll, what kind of products do you put in her hair? You know, just because she's new to me and I'm trying to work with different things and do different things with her hair. What do you guys do with her hair? I saw that um, my sweet friend on um, So Blessed Nursery, and actually she calls herself Sweet Cheeks. Isn't that cute? Sweet Cheeks at So Blessed Nursery um, has this baby and she had beads in her hair. And I'm like, that would be really cute to put beads in her hair. So I'm considering trying to find some beads and doing some fun beads in her hair. But what do you guys use for your old baby's hair? I would really be curious to know if you would leave me a comment um, down on what you do with her hair and how you take care of her hair. I would love, love, love to know because she is so gorgeous and I, I want to do some fun things with her hair. But um, what else was I going to say about her? Um... Yeah, uh, she loves rainbows, and she she's just, oh, the other cool thing about her is one of the sisters that I have coming is a sweet baby girl also made by Ping Lao. So she's my first Ping Lao sculpt, but I had already ordered another one that's on the way and should be here this week, I'm hoping. And you know, if you know I like to pair my babies, like I like them to have a best friend. So all of them have one or two, like some of them are three, like my church triplets, I put three of them together. Um, but most of them have like one that they're usually with, that's their BFF. And so the new baby that I have coming, I was like, I don't know who her BFF is gonna be. You know, I was like, who am I gonna pair her with? And then the opportunity to adopt this one just came up and they're gonna pair together perfectly. So she's so excited and can't wait for her new sister to come. She is so excited and I am so excited because I love her. I think she's just gorgeous and beautiful, my sweet Victoria. And I know that Clem Clem Beanie, I don't know for sure what the new parent has named um, Clem Clem Beanie, but Clem Clem Beanie, they said they love her and, or him, I don't know, maybe they turned it into a him, because I never did pierce um, Clem Clem Beanie's ears or anything. Although some boys have pierced ears on both sides too now, you know, that is a thing. So even with double pierced ears, it could be a boy. She did come with pierced ears. She has these little heart earrings, which I love. I think they're so cute. And she's just beautiful. Just a beautiful girl, a beautiful big girl. And she is definitely a toddler for Toddler Tuesday. Now I can't answer all the questions about her like I did for Bella, because I just got her. I don't know everything about her, but I did just get her. Well, I did answer a lot of the questions. Um, what's her favorite color, rainbow? Um, how many toddlers in your collection? We won't discuss that, like I said. Um, do you take your toddler out in public? Well, I haven't yet because I've only had her a couple days, but yeah, I will totally take her out. She's gorgeous. Why wouldn't I take her out and show her off? Yes, ma'am. She will be coming out. Um, do you role play? Yes, I do. And how long have I had her? I guess I just got her yesterday or two days ago, two days ago. I just got her. So yeah, and what made me pick her is she's gorgeous. I wanted her from the first time I saw her face on the screen. I was like, oh my goodness, that baby is gorgeous. And she was out of stock, sold out. And I think they might have her in stock again. But then I'm like, you know, I shouldn't be getting any more babies, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. So it just so happened that she came ready for me. So I, I'm so thankful for her. And I just wanted to tell everyone, because my computer is going to go off, I guess, my phone, that I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you for joining in with me um, on everything and um, being my friend and your beautiful comments. And I love you all. We all love you all. And we wanted to say what? We wanted to say jungle love to everyone. Thank you so much for watching my video. Have a beautiful day.